Peru news today. All you need to know about to Peru. Alert! Lima at 40 degrees temperature? We are on the verge of experiencing heat scenarios never seen before. Several European cities are already preparing to face this situation. However, the Peruvian authorities have done or considered practically nothing in this regard. In April of this year, the prestigious British magazine The Lancet Planetary Health published an extensive study that showed that Parisians are at the highest risk of dying due to intense heat. The research, which covered 854 European cities using data between 2000 and 2019, detailed that the French capital is substantially vulnerable due to the socioeconomic conditions of its citizens. The absence of green spaces and the still incipient policies for adaptation to climate events extremes. Given this scenario, in October 2023 the French government launched the Paris 50 Degrees Initiative, which consisted of implementing a large-scale crisis exercise on how to respond to severe heat waves. Neighborhood organizations, seniors, primary and secondary school children, the Paris police, the fire department, among others, participated in the drill. On this point, it is important to note that scientists assume that the main European cities will experience temperatures of 50 degrees or more before 2050. At the same time, different governments of the old continent have been developing initiatives to avoid a nightmare scenario in order to prevent high temperatures from making their metropolises uninhabitable. These measures include massive planting of trees, banning asphalt due to its heat magnifying effect, and prohibiting buildings built with stained glass. In turn, European authorities are studying the possibility of adapting the working day to prevent workers from going outside or being in unsuitable spaces during periods of scorching weather. The installation of community cold storage rooms to serve as a refuge to face moments of unbearable heat is also being considered. And Lima and the other cities of Peru? Well, nothing. They have not designed any policy to face heat scenarios never seen before. On the contrary, initiatives are being carried out in favor of pharaonic works based on asphalt, which threaten the few existing green spaces. A clear example of the above is the proposal to build the peripheral road ring, a madness from a climate point of view that will destroy groves and green areas, at a cost of $2.38 billion. So what should our authorities propose in the face of the extreme heat that is coming? The minimum agenda should include the following. First, implement an aggressive policy of tree planting in cities. Nature magazine showed that temperatures in urban areas with trees are between 1 degree Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius lower than those without trees. Second, prohibit asphalt-intensive infrastructure works, especially those intended for private cars. In its place, a modern and sustainable multimodal public transport system must be built. Third, work adaptability. In extreme heat scenarios, it makes no sense to force workers to go to poorly prepared offices. Therefore, teleworking should be encouraged, mainly in the state. Fourth, widespread construction of community cold storage rooms, which serve as shelter especially for informal workers and vulnerable people such as children, pregnant women and the elderly. In conclusion, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres stated that the era of global warming had ended, giving way to the era of global boiling. Therefore, we are on the verge of experiencing heat scenarios never seen before. Several European cities are already preparing to face this situation. However, the Peruvian authorities have done or considered practically nothing to confront critical scenarios that seem inexorable. It is time to act, otherwise we will once again regret the loss of lives due to our lack of foresight. Subscribe and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Peru News Today. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram.